good whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though to my crowd. I understand that this might be a bit weird about me talking about Canadian politics, but as a Canadian it is something that I just want to do and hope that you'll still be interested in listening to me. Now, before I get into this topic, I just want to plug my video that I'm putting out on this Wednesday where I get a bit personal with an issue that hits close to home. And even if you dislike me for my position in politics or anything, I just ask that you listen to that video because I feel as if it is really important in today's world and you will probably will learn something new by watching it. Though, to go into today's topic, we've got a little something something coming from Poilivre. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correct but he is from the Conservative Party and is a personal favorite of mine. Not only because I'm conservative, but he seems pretty straight with how he engages against Trudeau. But from the post-millennial, it talks about how Poilivre called out how Trudeau has spent over $220,000 on an airplane for food during a six-day trip to Asia. The food, for the food he's wondering, was apparently beef brisket, parley potatoes with truffle oil, beef tenderloin with port wine sauce, braised lamb shanks, and even cheesecake with pistachio brittle. And I'ma be honest, I have no idea as to what a lot of that even is. What, what is pistachio brittle? Uh, apparently it is a dessert of sorts, more like a candy, but anywho. That is a load of money to just give away in an excursion of eating over six days to the Far East. From just food from a flight, no less. Heaven to Betsy on what the rest of the bill looked like if that was just the flight bill. Am I right? But the article continues with Poilivre bringing to light about how Trudeau is spending $220,000 on food. Meanwhile, the supposed class that isn't getting affected by his taxes is the same class that is constantly growing in homelessness and food bank usage. But the article follows up with a Twitter post that we will watch that is between Trudeau and Poilivre. The opposition. That's a little bit rich coming from him as he raises taxes on single moms for the crime of driving to the grocery store while he treats himself to a jet-setting experience where the food on the plane out of a six-day trip was $220,000 beef brisket, parsley potatoes with truffle oil, beef tenderloin with port wine sauce, braised lamb shanks, and even cheesecake cake with pistachio brittle. Mr. Speaker, with Canadians lined up at the food bank, what's on the menu for this Prime Minister this summer? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives continue to use uh, cheap attacks and slogans uh, when they stand against support directly for Canadians. The Right Honourable Prime Minister from the top, please. Speaker, the Conservative leader continues to use cheap attacks and slogans uh, while he tries to hide from the fact that he is standing with the wealthiest Canadians and against the idea of them paying a little more so that Canadians, can, young Canadians can buy a home, so that seniors can get their teeth fixed, so that young families can find a place in childcare. These are the investments we're making that they are standing against, Mr. Speaker. We will continue to deliver for Canadians who need them while he chooses to protect the interests of his wealthy friends. Here, here. Uh, apologies, but I simply cannot stay silent under this utter buffoonery that I speak so highly against. He didn't even dispute the fact of the airline bill, which is insane. For the dude who talks so much about the young Canadians being able to buy a home, he seems to do just fine by spending our tax-paying dollars to fly here, there, and everywhere while spending ludicrous amounts of money on food alone. Trudeau, you know that your taxes have done nothing to the upper class? Meanwhile, to go and fill up my car with gas is currently... I mean, I, I don't even know because I currently bike with how stupidly expensive it is. Last time I filled it up, it was 60-something, which for the American folk, that is 43.83 USD. 
currently the most insane thing for me personally is that when I go to mow the lawn of my grandpa's house, he's not even paying me to mow his lawn anymore. He's paying me to drive there. And then I'm at cost for a Gatorade so I don't go the way of the dinosaurs with heat stroke. This Mariacher really said that the wealthy are afraid to pay a little more in taxes so that young Canadians can own a home. Hey, you stupid! I wouldn't be able to own a home anyways, even if they did, because you're spending it all on airplane food! But, ap apologies, I'm getting too flustered here. Uh, let us continue with the clip. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, there's nothing cheap about the $220,000 that he spent on one trip for food alone. The Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition uh, asked this question. I ask all members to please keep their voices down. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition from, from the top. There's nothing cheap, Mr. Speaker, about the Prime Minister spending $220,000 for food alone on a six-day jet-setting tour for himself. All the while, homelessness up 38 percent. Toronto has 256 homeless encampments, where one in ten people in that city are now eating at food banks. They join two million Canadians. The good news is life was not like this before this Prime Minister, and it won't be like this after he's gone. Can we not have a carbon tax election now to choose a government that will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime? It smells like the cup. The, the right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, once again, we see the extent of... Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives over this past session have stood in this House to stand against dental care for seniors. They have stood in this House to stand against expanding childcare investments in spaces. They have stood in this House to stand against the kinds of investments that are helping Canadians uh, with diabetes, uh, Canadians afford uh, birth control. These are the choices that they are making. Now, they're filled with slogans and bumper stickers that don't solve problems but amplify anger while we are focused on supporting Canadians. Canadians can make their choice. How about the kind of country they want to live in? And so, there are 20 seconds more, but nothing happens after that. You can go down below and check for yourself. If you don't trust my word, it is alright, I don't take offense. But, I just have to note that the same person who claims the Conservatives continue to use cheap attacks is the same person who spent, once again, 220000 on airplane food alone. Oh, wait, sorry food and drinks, which apologies to the American viewers, but that is 160,700 uh, USD. This man really spent the same amount for two down payments on a home and wants to claim that the conservative party is somehow more against the young Canadians who can't afford a home. Oh, wait, sorry, I meant three down payments on a home. I was accidentally going off the American dollar when I said that, and then my brain did a weird loop-de-loop -loop and got to the wrong conclusion of two, but no! Trudeau has spent the equivalent of three down payments on a six-day flight. 
on food and beverage alone. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I, I remember seeing something. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, Gerald, uh, entertain them. Okay. Um, well, hello, people. I hope your day is going well and that you're happy for the most part. Aside from Trudeau, of course, but that's not who or what I'm talking about anyways. Okay, um, Toasted. Okay, it seems like he's gone. Don't tell Toasted, but I'm voting Trudeau in hopes that he wins just so I can continue to hear Toasted complain about people voting for the obvious deficit towards Canadians. I take pleasure in hearing about him being cash-strapped constantly. Also, don't subscribe because he just wants to make money so that he might be able to afford food or something and I just like seeing him suffer, but ahem, so... Please go down below and let us know how you're doing, you know, just to keep up the facade of nothing happening here. But he should be back at any moment now. Oh, toast. Aha, I found it. So according to Statistics Canada, so it is governmental, I looked up average cost of a kid and it comes with, uh, the estimate is for a two parent, middle income, two children family. And it is estimated as just under 300000 to raise a single child all the way till age 17. So that essentially means that Trudeau almost paid for an entire human being in the course of six days for a flight, no less. Sorry, for that flight's food and beverage, no less. <sighs> uh, here's our taxpayer dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. We are funding this fool to take a miniature vacation for the size of a child. Th this man ordered a bunch of food and essentially just laid down a child as payment. Like, wh what does that even mean? But, <laughs> anywho, uh, just as a reminder, before you leave, first and foremost, uh, please come back for this Wednesday where I talk about something very important in our world on a whole. But aside from that, I'm now going to do typical YouTube jargon of hit that subscribe button along with that like button to show YouTube that this video is good and that like-minded viewers should see it as well. But until next time, have a good one.